On Amazing Kitchen today, I'll be showing you how to make one of my favorite duck dish. It is called Cantonese Braised Duck. It is a very simple recipe, but pack a lot of flavor in this simple dish. All right, if duck is one of your favorite dish and bird, then stay tuned and follow through with this recipe. All right, let's get cooking. Now to make this amazing Cantonese braised duck, we'll start with a fresh whole duck that has been cleaned and pat dry. Then for the marinade, we'll need three teaspoons of sugar, brown sugar or white, your choice. Then we'll add three teaspoons of salt. After that, we'll move on to the hoisin sauce. This is one of my favorite seasoning. It goes very nice with meat dishes. So we'll need three tablespoons of this. Then three tablespoons of oyster sauce. And this is fermented bean curd. So this one has chili in it, but if you don't like it, you can have it without chili. We'll just need five cubes of this. This will add a lot of salty flavor to the dish. Then we'll have some dried mandarin peel. I did an ep episode about this. If you've never heard of it, I'll leave the link above so you can click and learn about it. And with this, we'll just simply crush it and chop it up into small fine pieces. Then we'll just add this to our marinade. This will add a lot of tanginess to the dish. Then a small piece of ginger, simply sliced, will be sufficient. Then we'll need seven garlic cloves, simply chopped. If you like, you can leave it whole. Either way is fine. Now we add this to our marinade also. Now that all the ingredients are there, we can just mix everything up into this nice paste. Now we set that aside, then we can work on our duck. For the duck, we remove the feet and the winglets. So wing tips, because they'll burn easily and there's not much meat on it, we'll separate that and remove it. But then we'll keep it for later use. Now that we have the marinade ready, our ginger and our duck, we just need a satay stick. Now with the feet, we just dip it in the marinade and we'll stuff it inside the duck. Then we'll add our ginger. And finally, we'll just scoop our marinade into the belly of the duck. Now you want to scoop about 80 to 90% of this inside. Then we'll leave about 10% outside. So with a skewer, we'll simply seal the bottom of the duck so we allow the marinade not to leak out. Now if your skewer is a little long like mine, you just simply cut off the ends. Then with the remainder of this marinade, you simply rub it on the duck, get it in every crevice, the neck and the head of this duck. Now that it's done, we can turn on the heat and get the wok ready. So I have some oil here. It's about one and a half liter of uh, cooking oil. We'll just bring that up to temperature. About 300 to 350 degrees will be just fine. Now ideally, this duck should be air dry before you do this process. For me, I didn't have the time, so I went ahead and oiled this duck immediately. 
as you can see, because of the moisture, it caused a lot of uh, splashing of the oil. Now this is a very crucial step. Remember to take your time doing this. It really sears the outside of the skin and then it seals the flavor of the duck. It also tightens the skin. So this is a very crucial step for making this dish taste good. Now if you're not comfortable with uh, doing this, you can always skip it. But of course I recommend that you do this before you braise the duck. To minimize the splashing, you simply dry the duck so less moisture is on the surface so it doesn't bounce and splash around. Now once that's done, we can move on to the neck and the head of the duck. I'll blanch it in this hot oil and seal the head and the neck also. Now once that's done, we can set aside the oil for later use. Then we'll just clean the wok and add some oil to it. Then we can start braising the duck. We'll just add the duck in, position it so that it's level, so that the cover will go over the entire duck. And we'll just add some water and make sure it covers the duck entirely. Now make sure you bring the water to a boil, then we can start timing this. We'll cover it and cook it for one hour. But every 25 minutes, you open it and flip the duck the other way so you can get an even cook on both sides as well as for the seasoning to enter the duck. Now once that's done, we'll just cook it for the last 10 minutes on high heat. And look how beautiful this duck is. So it's all ready. So we'll just set this aside and allow it to cool for five to 10 minutes. Then we can extract the skewer so we can pour the marinade out. We'll try to get most of it out. Then we'll set the duck down and pour this marinade back into the wok. Now we want to reduce this until about 50% until it thickens and that will be our glaze. So now for the duck, depending on how many uh, servings you're making, for me, I have the entire duck cut and plated in one plate. But if you're going to separate this into several meals, then you simply cut it in its parts and you can keep it in the freezer for reheating the next time. So I removed the head and the neck then the joints. Then we can work on the center body. Now the first thing you need is remove the center bone because unless you like bone, then you keep it. But generally you would remove the center bone because it does have much meat there. So you can toss that or you can save it for making congee on your next dish. Now we'll just start with plating. I like to get the head and the neck in first. Then we'll get the tail as well. So I'll work with the breast. I'll separate the bone area from the meat area. So I'll cut it in two. Then we'll just chop the bone and use that as our foundation. It, there's a lot of flavor in the bones. Then we simply chop the breast meat and put it over the top. Now once that's done, we can work on the duck legs. Now 
that's on, then we finally finish it off with the wing legs. Now our sauce is reduced nicely, it's thicken up. Now we can strain this to get all the little debris out of it. But if you don't want to get the debris out, you can always use it as well. But for me, I like to strain everything out because all the flavor has already been extracted. Now with this gravy, we'll use it as a glaze and we'll pour it over our duck. And this is the final step where it adds the color as well as the beauty for this dish. And all this condensed flavor is all absorbed over the meat. Look how beautiful that is. So now that you've seen how the braised duck is made, what do you think of it? Have you ever tried something like this? But this is my favorite duck dish, so don't underestimate the look of this. It is amazing. So I hope you can give that a try and let me know what you think. So comment below if you want to see any other type of recipes that you don't uh, find on our channel. Feel free to suggest and I will consider making it. Alright, and remember to subscribe and we will see each other on the next episode. Bye now! Mm -hmm.